Alexa has the potential to kill Google. Google's biggest concern in the world is Amazon because the next search engine is voice and Alexa's ahead. One in every four searches on Google is done by voice. One in every four, excuse me, one in every four searches on Google in a mobile device is done by voice. Notice how even the way I said it, I don't even believe in a desktop world anymore. I think an amazing thing for entrepreneurs to build is a very strong voice device algorithm because the speaker is a commodity. Every home is going to be built with this, right? It's the algorithm of capturing your voice. You know, when is it your voice? When is it my voice? Like, there's a lot of science behind this from the speaker technology. I don't think anybody who's a major internet company can live without having a major voice strategy. I think we're going to be at dinner. We're going to say a couple things. Not only are we going to debate it, we're going to eat. Think about how fun this is. We're eating. Should we go to Ibiza? Alexa, Google, Apple, Samsung. Go to- Tell us about Ibiza. Literally, over the course of that dinner, we'll be educated about five places. Tell me about the Malfi Coast. Tell me about the, we'll be educated. We'll decide, and then we'll say, Alexa, book it. And then somebody, whether it's booking or traveler, or maybe your company has the where in the world is Carmen San Diego app that really understands regions, and you're the one they downloaded as the app to give them travel information. You can own that. Guinness owned world records. Michelin Tire Company owns restaurant reviews. Why can't you own travel information? Whoever is closest to the customer wins. The reason I tend to win is I'm spending time just on what consumers are doing, almost all of it. You have to build brand and a direct relationship with the consumer or you're just a commodity, you're just a a bed.